Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how and when to cite code for the AP Computer Science Principles Create Task using the Code.org App Lab environment. If you are using another programming language such as Alice, App Inventor, Scratch, Snap, or Python, the requirements are the same. You'll just insert the comments a little bit differently. First, let's take a quick look at this program. So this is a little program I wrote. I'm going to run it, and I'm going to put in some numbers, and then I'm going to hit sort, and it's going to sort it. So I'll put these numbers in here, and we'll hit sort, and then it sorts it. So this is mainly my own code. However, I did take one piece of code from a website, and we're going to cite that. Now let's talk about when you need to cite code. First of all, you need to cite code when you got it from someone or somewhere else. Also, you need to cite code when your teacher has given you feedback on it. So if it's code you did for a previous project, even if you did it all on your own, but your teacher gave you some sort of feedback for it, you have to cite it. Now, what code must be your original work? For the most part, code doesn't have to be your original work as long as you cite it properly. However, code for your abstraction and code for your algorithms must be your original work. Also, this program should be your original work, so you probably shouldn't copy a large portion of the code, even if you cite it properly. Now let's take a look at my program again. So we've got my program. Again, most of this is my original work. However, the bubble sort is something I adapted from a website. I'm going to go over to this website here, and you can see it's not exactly the same. However, since the bubble sort function in my program is heavily based on this code, I need to cite it, even though it isn't exactly the same. I'm going to take this web address. I'm going to press Control C to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to the App Lab tab, and I'm going to go to Functions, and I'm going to find the comment. So the comment is if we want to put a piece of text in our code to explain something to other programmers, the computer will skip this when it's running the program. So I'm going to drag this, put this up at the beginning of the bubble sort. I'm going to say begin cited code. I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to paste the web address. Then I'm going to grab another comment, put it at the end. I'm going to say end cited code. So now it's clear where my cited code begins, where it ends, and where I got it from. Now I can also do this in text mode if I want. I can go to show text. And if I want to make a comment for any reason, I can just put two slashes, and then we can see everything after that is green, and that means the computer is going to ignore it. So that's the summary of how and when we cite code in the App Lab environment for the AP Computer Science Principles Create task. For other programming tutorials on the App Lab environment, please click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To subscribe to the channel, please click on the picture in the upper left-hand corner of the screen.